What's going on YouTube? Before we start game two, I'd like to show you the other series that are going on. Good series going on here and all across the NBA. But let's just get this little game underway. Game two going on right now. As the playoffs continue, the action intensifies. Eight teams eliminated, and now the true contenders begin to emerge. Nothing can be taken for granted, and those not ready for the next level will be the next to go. This is round two of the NBA Playoffs. What is going down, YouTube? This is Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City, and I'm coming to you with game two of the Western Conference semifinals. And after losing game one, Kobe is looking to take his money and run with it. But I'm not going to go down easily. I, I don't intend to. You know, we've come too far and worked too hard to have this taken away from us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this in a whole different approach. I'm just going to play... I'm going to play a different style. You might see a little bit of differences, you know, of my style during this series. I don't know if you actually will, but, you know, there might be a couple of differences you might see. You might see more shots taken than actual dunks. Uh, you might see more passing. But uh, let's get this game underway. I'm sure you guys are excited to see game two. So we got this first possession right here, and we're going to go up with a nice little layup right around Kobe. Come on now. You know, he, you know, Kobe's just trying to be cheesy. And you see Kevin Martin over to me, and I go up with another pretty layup. Look at that. And just again, just showing how well I can do. That was supposed to be an alley-oop pass. For some reason, I did that. But, you know, I still got credited with the assist. Uh, doing pretty well so far. We got this game tied at six. But you see Carlos Delfino going in with another bucket. I know I'm going through this pretty fast. But, uh, you know. Sometimes it happens that way. So I give it off to Delfino again, and he's backing down. And he gets the fadeaway right over him. And this is a, a good fest so far. We're up 10 to 6. We're taking it pretty slow, though. You see that they only have 6 points in the first 4 minutes. But you see, Houston, we have liftoff. And let's take it to vertical again. I, I It couldn't have been very high. Only 36. I mean, my highest was only 10 inches higher. But, uh... Here we are again playing some defense and mine, 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 oh, mine, of course. Mine. It's mine. It has to be mine. But you see right here, I steal the ball. I give it to Delfino. Gives it off to Robinson. Back over to me up the top. I give it to Delfino. He gives it over to Kmart. And that's where he goes shopping at too, I guess. Man, everybody goes shopping at Kmart. But a 15-8. Kmart again doing what he do. I get the ball back. I get find Carlos Delfino. And that's a three ball. <laughs> just the triples. Triple after triple from Carlos Delfino. He's just a beast at threes. If you see me going down the paint, and I pass it off to Thomas Robinson, and he gets the bucket. And you see Pau Gasol's defense softer than cotton nail tissue. And... Mine, 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 oh, mine, mine, mine. That's mine. That's mine. Mine, mine. But here we are again, 21-12 in the first quarter. And I'm going to give it off to Zashik, and he throws it down. Oh, my God. When was the last time you seen that guy make a play for this team? That's been a while. Holy crap. But now, six points, six assists, doing pretty well for myself. First quarter, I give it off to Royce White, back to myself. And he gets the little Iowa to Iowa connection right there. Royce White, Iowa State, myself, Northern Iowa. You know the deal. BC Royce White again, giving it off. For another Iowa to Iowa connection. My goodness, it's just it's just a man manifest this quarter, but it's time winding down the first. I need to make a clutch shot. I fade away. And it goes in at the buzzer. Dun dun dun. But we got a big lead after one. But that doesn't mean anything. It's just the first quarter. There's still three more quarters to play. But you see Al Youp to Marcus Morris. Oh, come on now. That's where they set that double team up. He cut straight to the basket. That's just beautiful basketball right there. But now you see over to Tony Douglas. And he gets the three ball. And we're up by 20. 
and now we're up by 16. We're up by er, so far early on. It's just been crazy so far. But you see Royce White for another Iowa to Iowa connection. And a lot the bench players have played a big role so far in this series, whether we've lost or won. And that's saying a lot, I mean, especially coming down to the final stretch of the season. But you see shot clock winding down. I give it off to Jeremy Lamb like a sheep bat, and he gets the bucket. And we're up by 17 late in the second quarter. Shot clock winding down once more. I find Thomas Robinson. Shot clock expires, and he makes the shot. I got 12 assists. I have more assists than I do points this game. Like I said, I'm going to take a different approach in this series. And, and it's just a little bit of an experiment, see if it works or not. And it might throw them off a little bit. But now I'm with 11 and 13. I haven't taken too many shots so far. I've been trying to limit myself, you know, not take as many shots. And hopefully this works out in this, just this series alone. I'm really, it's hard to score 50 points a game when you're facing the Lakers. But you see Kmart getting inside, bullying Kobe Bryant, or actually Metal World Peace or Ron Artest. But he gets the bucket. And then you see Tony Douglas over to Kmart, over to myself. You got Kobe on me. And I say, who's Kobe who? He gives it off to, I gave it off to Delfino over Paul Gasol. And that's he gets another bucket. So I got 14 and 15. Tony Douglas with the shot clock cheese. Look at that. And we got another assist for myself. That's 16 on the, get, the day. It's just crazy how they're just making shots for me. And limiting my sh shot attempts, it's really... Forced us to play good defense, I think. And you see Roy Hibbert going inside, getting a nice bucket to fall. 16 points, 17 assists, and another bucket right here by Jeremy Lamb, like a sheep bat. And now we're up by 9. They started to come back a little bit. We were up by 20, but now we're only up by 9. But you see, I'm backing it up, trying to get down the paint, and I do a fadeaway. you never seen that before. You see something new every day, don't you? Nice little post fadeaway over Steve Nash. And he can't play defense on me. I'm just too good. But you see right here, over to Roy Hibbert, another shot clock cheese. That's just a lot of shot clock cheese in this game from us. Playing good defense. Time winding down in the game. Only down, or only up by four. You see another bucket, another assist for me. As I got 20 and 20. And I get to go to the line and try and put this game on ice. So, only lift off once in this game. So, it wasn't really that impressive. Only one dunk. But, you know, at least we won the game. But you see me making the first free throw, trying to put this game on ice, trying to tie this series up and try to go to L.A. and win. But 22 points now as I make the second free throw. And looks like we're going to put this game on ice as I get to go to the line again after they missed. And first one, of course, is good. You, you know, you never really get to see me min miss many free throws. But you see it here. Another free throw, and it's good, and it's cash. And that's pretty much going to wrap things up here. A very low scoring game for a 2K. But I took this a little bit different in the approach. But hopefully it will work out for the rest of the series. I'm certain, I'm certain that we will go to L.A. and take what is ours. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to stop by my Facebook, Twitter, and Xbox Live. Friends list is full, so send me a message. But until next time, until Game 3, my name is Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City, and I'm out of here. Peace. I'm sure the team would have liked to have taken both games at home, but now you find yourself tied 1-1 and about to hit the road. How are you feeling about the series at this point? We plan to win it. That's how we feel. You don't really expect me to come up here and say that we're discouraged and don't feel like we can win the series, do you? Come on now. We're all professionals here, and everyone realizes that this series has a long way to go. It looks like it's going to be back and forth the whole way. So don't be surprised if we're back here for Game 7, but we fully expect to be the ones moving on when all is said and done.